Hey, I just want to encourage you today. How do you see yourself? How do you see yourself? You know, the children of Israel were there and they were about to ready to take over the promised land. They were about ready to go in and fulfill the will of God for them. However, there were 10 spies that came back with the report that was less than good. And they said, listen, you know, yeah, we got the big old fruits and everything that God said was in the land. Yeah, but there were also giants. And listen, we look like grasshoppers in their sight. I got a question for you. How in the world did you know that the giants thought you looked like grasshoppers in their sight? Because that's how the children of Israel saw themselves in their sight. You see, they did not have within the equation and in their minds that, wait a minute, yes, we may be small. Yes, we may be seemingly insignificant, but we've got the creator of the universe on our side. And he said that we could take this land. They didn't, they didn't think that. And so what was the result? They thought small. <laughs> Absolutely. They thought they couldn't do it. They thought they were inadequate because they minus, they subtracted the Lord from the equation. Now, compare that, right? Contrast that with David. The Bible says he was a ruddy boy, which means cute, red, right? Little, all right? Compared to the giant. Young, okay? He wasn't really a warrior from his youth like Goliath was. However, he added the Lord to the equation. And so he, he thought himself bigger than the giant. Why? Because he knew and had a relationship with a God who was bigger than that giant. And what happened? We know what happened. David and Goliath is the story that you tell and encourage your children with. Hmm? Because David had the mindset if God is for me, I am invincible. And because of that, he spoke the word and said, you, I will feed to the fowls of the heaven and cut off your head with your own sword. And you know what? That is exactly what happened. <laughs> so there's no obstacle and there's no odds, right? That can be against you if God is for you by the Lord. You will jump over walls. You will run through troops. You will conquer any land. Why? Because God is for you. God bless you. God loves you. God smiles when he sees you.